Good morning, guys. I just spent the last hour getting some editing done and now it's time for us to eat. As you can see, my couch is like not put together. I took everything off and bleached it and washed it last night because Maverick made me spill turmeric tea all over it, which is not the first time that this has happened. I get a lot of questions on this couch and I really, really love it. I got it on Facebook Marketplace for $300. It was only a year old when I got it. I think it's stop and it's the ikea hard draft hand draft couch maybe i don't know i'll link it down below but i do get a lot of questions and i really love it and a lot of people are like why would you get a white couch and it's just really easy to like wash everything so i'm gonna put all of the cushions back on i don't know how long this is gonna take me but we're gonna do it You are Mr. Bad Boy. <laughs> yes, you are. I cannot believe that I just got that on film. Never mind that you even did that. Anyway, I just put all the couch covers on there. It looks so bright and white. Like, I've never seen it like this. There were stains on here before, um, but they're all gone. The only ones that won't come out are like a couple of these. So, oh my goodness, Maverick, who's awake? <laughs> I am switching on my breakfast today and I'm having some Catalina Crunch with some bananas and I just fed Maverick. We are back in the kitchen. I'm gonna make a little smoothie because we're about to go on a hike. I'm so excited. I have not been to Wissahickon on a hike in so long and I've just been like bugging him about going for like a month now and we're finally going but I'm gonna make a little tropical bub before we go and i just wanted to give you guys some life updates so i just spent like the past two hours applying for jobs and you guys are probably like what happened to the job that you had well it was never really like a full-time paid position and i was basically just like helping the startup company and you know i am the brand manager still i'm not like leaving or anything but things are not going as planned my boss was just kind of like you should start looking for other jobs. So I've been applying for jobs nonstop the past two weeks or so. And I just heard back from one and I have an interview. They gave me like a set date and everything. So it's next Wednesday. It's a sales position, but like, it's like a six figure job. So I'm like, I'll just go to the interview. You never know. I feel like I'm like starting over and it, it really sucks. But you know, everything happens for a reason. I'm trying to tell myself I'm still young. I don't have to have it all figured out. So that's kind of what I've been up to. I've been doing some DoorDash, making some extra money. That's kind of where I'm at. It sucks, but I feel like I finally got into a place of like acceptance and like it's okay to not have your life figured out at 22 in a pandemic. So if you guys are also struggling with the job thing, want me to talk more about it, I would love to because I know the pain, it sucks. Welcome to my life. So if you're not familiar with this recipe, it's coconut water, mangoes, bananas, ginger, cinnamon, spinach, and a little bit of stevia to sweeten it. I am back home now. I might look a little crazy because I had like a full mental breakdown on the way there and the way back. So I didn't really get much footage, but the day is basically over. I'm gonna prep dinner. I'm gonna make my cauliflower pizza. I promised you guys on Instagram that I would film a recipe on YouTube, but luckily for my mental breakdown, I got a Chanel package in the mail. So I got an email that they were having free 
overnight a delivery and I said what if the things that I wanted for months are finally in stock and I checked and they were I saw on TikTok that was just like if you want to be bougie and treat yourself to some Chanel but like that's not like something obviously extremely expensive like I'm not out here buying like a four thousand dollar boy bag right not happening I'm also convinced that most people's Chanel bags are fake how shut up oh my god i mean is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen receipt i mean just like ugh, classic we love oh my god i have to take a picture of this how do i nicely do this oh oh it sticks so nicely oh no it's ripping great i've never had a chanel box like this before i'm so excited it's funny because i just watched sierra Furtado's chanel haul that she did and i added up like all the stuff it was like ten thousand dollars she spent at the chanel store in one day i was like wow that is sickening here we have a little packaging i don't want to rip it just because it's so cute oh it came with something oh these are samples oh my goodness just like this is just so worth twenty dollars to me i got mademoiselle which is my signature perfume i always use mademoiselle and then blue de chanel i got this for justin to try to see if he likes it le cotton <laughs> i guess that's how it's called they're basically bougie chanel cotton pads and i believe there's might be a hundred in here but i just wanted to have them to treat myself for mother's day because i'm a mom now <laughs> By the way, I posted a TikTok about that and it went viral last night. I think it has like 600,000 views right now. Oh my God, there's so many freaking boxes you gotta open. It's like a journey to like get to the actual item here. They're like little Chanel cotton pads and it's just like a flat cotton pad that has the logo on it. And that's what we got ourselves this week. I've been trying to find these for months and they've been literally sold out everywhere. So really glad I got my hands on them. But let's go prep some dinner. So you're gonna wanna prep about 340 grams of cauliflower. You can use frozen, but then we're gonna put some water in here and then wait for it to boil and then I'll come back in the kitchen and show you the rest. I just made another cup of coffee because I don't know if I can get through this night because I am just exhausted from crying. Do you guys ever cry a lot and that happen? So we can turn this off, it's ready. And then we are going to take strainer we're gonna let this sit and cool for about a half an hour and then preheat our ovens to 450 degrees it's a little bit later let me pull up my life sum i just preheated my oven my cauliflower is cooling i'm gonna throw some cold water on it to speed up the process because the bitch is hungry but you're gonna need flour of your choice obviously i'm doing gluten free so we're gonna do 100 grams of that in like a medium sized mixing bowl this hair is pissing me off it's making my hair look like it's greasy but it's not then we're gonna go in with a teaspoon and a half of baking powder make sure it's powder and not soda and then salt and pepper to taste a key ingredient is oregano this freaking oregano where is it wait i have no idea where the oregano is it was here yesterday what in the hell what if i like threw it out or something that shit is not there so i guess we'll be skipping that does anyone else's dog just sit up directly below them when they're trying to cook don't get me wrong i love it but it can be a tad annoying with your cold cauliflower, we're gonna take a cheesecloth. I wouldn't recommend using paper towels because they will just fall apart for the most part. So we're gonna take our cauliflower, dump it on here, and squeeze out all of the moisture. And then in this bowl, you're gonna wanna throw in about a quarter cup of cold water. It's gonna look a little bit dry. Add your cauliflower. I unfortunately messed up a little bit. I didn't let the cauliflower sit long enough in the hot water, so make sure to do that. It's just a little bit chunky. It's fine, it's really not that big of a difference. Can I help you? He wants to eat. <laughs> you will. We're gonna roll this out onto a pan. Unfortunately, the crust is very chunky. It should not look like this if you do it properly and don't rush it, but I was just hungry and <laughs> wanted to eat by like six. But we're gonna put this in the oven for 12 minutes, flip it over, and then bake for another 12. So the crust is almost done. I have my toppings all measured out and everything. So in here, I have 80 grams of the Rails tomato basil. 
sauce, 50 grams of the Trader Joe's almond milk mozzarella, and then 30 grams of the Trader Joe's fat-free feta, which I love this stuff. You guys already know. So I'm gonna put the toppings on and then you're gonna put it back in for eight minutes. There she is. The crust is looking a little funky, but like I said, it could have done better. I also added some fresh basil. So I'm gonna cut this up. Let's go over the macros. We have, I think I know this by heart, but I wanna double check. We have exactly 400 calories for the whole thing, 28 grams of protein, 48 grams of carbs, and 11 grams of fat. So you can't go wrong, it's delicious. And as someone who struggles to find like dairy and gluten-free pizzas anywhere, this shit really hits the spot. So let me know if you guys try it out. Mmm, wait, the crust is really good. It's a bit thicker which I like a lot. I just got out of the shower. I'm gonna do some skincare. I look a little crazy right now because I just did some extractions and tweeze the fuck out of my eyebrows. So I'm a little red. I feel like it's been a little while since I showed you guys some skincare. So I figured I'd go over my night routine. I am starting off with an ordinary serum. This is the lactic acid 10%. Couple drops of that. My skin is so dry right now. I don't really know why. And then another ordinary product. This is the Retinol. Why did I say that's so weird? Hello, Maverick. This dog is such a mama's boy. It makes me so happy. Maverick literally follows me around everywhere. It's my favorite thing in the entire world. I'll let this like dry in my face a little. In the warmer months, I always switch to like a hyaluronic acid moisturizer. So the Peter Thomas Roth one is my all time favorite. I actually got this at the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty actually. And I love this stuff. This is like your skin just like drinking a glass of water. It's the most amazing moisturizer ever. I love it, love it, love it. I've been loving the Saint Tropez bronzing water face mist. I lately just like haven't been wearing any makeup and I'll just do this in the morning and in the night and then I go in with my Vaseline as my under eye cream. It's my nightly skincare routine but I'm gonna go make a cup of tea and have a macro bar. So this is my little night cap. We have some lemon ginger probiotic tea and then a chocolate chip macro bar that has been heated up for 20 seconds. It literally tastes like a warm chocolate chip cookie. I've been obsessed with this and then a little bit of some dairy-free whipped cream to go with it. Also, key tip, spray your plate with cooking spray before you put it on so it doesn't stick to it. Hey, hey, whoa, easy on the feet. So I'm gonna end off the vlog here. I don't have much else to show for the rest of the night. I'm just gonna be watching the Summer House reunion. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys so much. I will see you in my next video.